and welcome back to the Crochet Crowders with my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. If you wanna see a brilliant mathematician, today is your lucky day my friends. This is the second time <laughs> filming this. I have literally filmed this whole thing and the whole thing, the math was so screwed up and I counted and I counted and I watched and I the playback and apparently my friends, the number 20 does not exist. So I was going like 17, 18, 19, 21, 22. <laughs> So it's like a hypnosis show. So if you're looking for a really good crocheter to show you how to do stuff, I'm not sure I'm your guy right now because as soon as I pull out my calculator, you better run for the hills. <laughs> so today we have a diagram and uh, I'm almost scared now to film this, but we're gonna try our best. And the diagram is given like this and the designer has given us limited information. So we know that this is chaining of 50 because that's what the die, uh, that's what the designer has us do in the pattern. So today's concept is taking an existing diagram and actually making it expand. So if we're gonna expand it today, <laughs> you better loosen off that belt buckle my friends because it's gonna get really loose. <laughs> okay, so here we have a diagram and we gotta look at what's the same. So, so we have to look at it and we see that we have a peak here, a peak and a peak. <laughs> How many peaks is it? Three, so one, two and three. So we know that if we're doing a wave that we can only count because there's one peak in the, in the top of the wave, we can only count one peak at a time. <laughs> So what we have to do is that we have to look with what's similar and then pray to God we can count it and actually count the right number. So I'm going to look at this peak over here. So I'm gonna draw this with my HB pencil. It is HB, right? Oh, it's a number two, excuse me. <laughs> so I'm gonna say this is the start and I wanna look to where this is going to start again. So we got it across. So this looks the same, right? So that means that I don't wanna count that twice. So I'm going to draw my angle right there and I'm gonna count. <laughs> I'm going, <laughs> oh God, I've got that stupid laugh going on. So I'm gonna count going that way. <laughs> and I'm gonna count from the starting of the chain going that way. I feel like Sesame Street. So let's zoom you in and let's see if we can count together. <laughs> so we're going to count the number of chains between this point and this point. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23. 20, it's, it's not 23. Let me count that again. I, I, <laughs> I have no words. Let's try to count again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So it's 22. And I knew that because I was like having to rack my head <laughs> and bang it off my head, uh, desk a few times. So the number is 22. So I wanna look to where this repeats again. So see this? I want to go to this line here. And now I'm gonna count this direction from here. So let's count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, 5, 20, 21, and 22. So, oh my God, <laughs> I wrote the number 20. So I better get my rubber out. This is happening in real time. Isn't this so crazy? So it's 22. <laughs> so I got 22 and 22. So now I have to count the number of chains that are left over and I think at this point any kind of number is gonna be okay. <laughs> so I have how many chains left over? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can at least count that. So I believe that the multiple is, and let's just start doing some long math to double check myself. <laughs> so I think it's 22. So I wanna take my calculator. This is. Oh my God, it doesn't even recognize my face. <laughs> I don't know what face is looking at. Oh my God, I hear all that folks. <laughs> so let me just put my rubber down. Okay, so I want, I knew that the number is 50. Let me just not get the lighting. So I wanna take 50, uh, 50 and divide it by, I believe, what is 22? Divide it by 22. And that gives me 2.27. So what I want to do is use the whole number, I know that's a big word for me, whole, okay, that's one syllable, and I wanna times that, that two times 22. So 22 times two equals 
44. So if it's 44 and we started with chaining a 50, so we're now gonna take 50 minus 44, which I don't need a calculator for. I know that's a miracle in itself. <laughs> oh, that gives me the number six. So I can tell that that's the right number. So 44 plus six equals 50. It does it? Yeah, 46, um, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Yeah, six. Isn't that pathetic? <laughs> So that's what we have today. I know people turn to me to learn to crochet it. It's kind of scary in that way. So I know that if I want to change the size of this whole thing, it's 22. So let me write that down before I forget it. <laughs> so it's 22 plus six is my multiple in order to make this sucker bigger. And uh, this is kind of the neat way of doing it because if I showed you what I had figured out before, it was a disaster. <laughs> If you think watching this six o'clock news is a disaster, oh my God, the last take I just did was a disaster. So this is the kind of concept. So if, if the designer is throwing you a diagram, not telling you what the multiples are, you can take the diagram, look to what's similar, but it's that cross checking of the long math with your calculatrice. That's French for calculator. Get your calculatrice out and just be able to um, get all that and confirm it because chances are the designers right in the starting chain count. It's very rare that they're wrong. So um, that kind of information is kind of a stable number. <laughs> it's more stable than I am. <laughs> That's it for today folks. That's all there is and it's Mikey on behalf of the crochet crowd and hopefully you'll learn something and if not there's always next time. <laughs> next time. Bye-bye <laughs> now.